Well, hello and good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Jeff Hooks. I am the president of Victory Nutrition International. It is my privilege and pleasure to welcome all of you to our Saturday Quick Start training call, our Quick Start training event uh, for this uh, Saturday, September 8th, 2018, um, uh, along with uh, Mr. Dwight Halstead and, and uh, some of the leaders that helped pour input into the content for today's training. Uh, we've got something special for you. So I hope you've got a pen and paper ready. I hope you've got your, your mindset ready. I hope you've had your, your protovite this morning. I hope if you haven't already, uh, go ahead and take your brain reward and, uh, and, and let's dive in. We've got a lot to learn about and, and, um, and, and we're gonna, we, we've got a, a, just a jam-packed hour for you. Again, we're going to be doing these quick start training. This is part of what we call our weekly rhythm, our weekly pattern of activity that we want you and your team to begin to really get comfortable with and leveraging. This is, this is, it. This is for you. We do this, you know, we're all busy. We do this to help you and your team grow your business. It's that simple. Um, we're going to be talking, Dwight and I both are going to be talking about the Thursday night to Saturday rhythm, what the, what the purpose is, how to really work smart, not just work hard, but work smart to leverage the Thursday night to Saturday events to uh, build and grow your business and to create momentum that, that, that is probably beyond uh, anything you think is possible at this at this current moment, and 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 I, and I say that with a with a smile and a thumbs up, um, because we're going to help you if you'll plug in with us, if you'll if you'll if you'll plug into these events, if you will follow our lead, if you will implement some of the the, the proven principles, proven principles that we're going to teach you, your business is going to grow. It's it's literally that simple. So grab a pen, grab a paper, grab a digital device, and, uh, and, and let's get to work. All right, so these quick start trainings, um, this is designed to help you grow your business. So we've got some people, whether you're listening to this event live uh, Saturday, September 8th at 11 a.m. Eastern, or you're listening to it via recording replay, we, we recognize that there are a number of brand new members to the Victory Nutrition family, brand new representatives that that, that, that intend and are committed to building and growing a profitable business. Now, your vision for that business is, is completely personal. That's, in other words, some of you might right now, your vision might be, uh, which we are, which is a huge positive. Your vision might be, you know, I want to take the next couple of years, create a thousand, two thousand dollar a month residual, pay off some debt, maybe supplement or augment my retirement, maybe children's education, um, maybe buy a house instead of renting a house, whatever, vacation, whatever the motivation is, we're going to talk about proven principles that can help you achieve that. Now, some of you also might have a vision that's a, that's a little bigger than that. That doesn't mean it's better, but it's just bigger. It's different. You might want to create a full-time uh, full income, maybe a six or even a seven-figure residual which, which um, as a leadership team, we have done. We can help you do that with Victory Nutrition. So understand this. Victory Nutrition is a business vehicle. Uh, amazing products, folks. Amazing products. Science-based products like we talked about Thursday night, like we talked about on our, our Tuesday evening, our monthly product overview call. These are, these are we've got 40 peer-reviewed, published clinical studies on our products. I mean, I, again, I've shared with y'all, I start every morning with my ProDivite and my Brain Reward. I do it first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, before coffee, before anything. And it is, I've, I started that regimen about three and a half weeks ago, like clockwork, every morning, first thing, and, and it kicks my day off. We know that the world needs these products. We know that the world will be blessed by these products. They'll feel better physically. We know that, uh, that we are a very, as, as a community in the, in the modern world, uh, we are an overfed and undernourished community. And um, we've got high performance fuel that feeds the body and, and, and allows the body to do what it was meant to do, what, what God Almighty created it to do. So these products are world class. Now what we're talking about today is not a product training. We've got at vni.life, your website, we've got product information. Um, we're going to do some specific additional product trainings at, at certain points in the future, but that's not what this event's about. Um, the products are our business. We're going to talk about taking these products, taking this brand, taking this platform, and, and, and building a business with it. 
And the bigger the business we build, the more people we're going to bless with these products. So the business and the products are connected systemically. The products mean the products create the opportunity to build a business. And the builder, the bigger we build our distribution business, which is again what we're talking about today, the more people are going to be consuming these products and being blessed by the benefits of these products. Does that make sense? So whether you're brand new, the purpose for us is to help you get through that learning curve quickly and get up and, and have a profitable business quickly. For some of you, you might be existing members of the VNI family and your vision, your goal, the timing in your life might be, you know what? I need to hit the reset button. I need to hit the refresh button. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to renew my commitment to building my VNI business for myself and my family to, 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 to get these products out across the U S and Canada right now. And then around the world as we move forward. That might be your vision. And, and so we're going to help you hit that reset button. And so I encourage you to get a, forget everything you knew or thought, you know, take a, a blank sheet of paper and, uh, and, and let's go to work. All right. So two things that we want to talk about and remind you every single week, two principles to success. Number one, always stay plugged in just like you're doing today. Stay plugged in. We're going to talk about that. In a, I'm going to, I want to expound on that just for a couple minutes. Stay plugged in means, in fact, I'll put it to you this way. Lone Rangers do not win in this business. Lone Rangers that, that, that join V and I, maybe they love the family. I mean, they love the products and they love the family of products, but they're like, you know what? I don't need to plug into the events. I don't need to plug into the calls. I don't need to plug in. I, I, I'm going to kind of do my own thing. And, and I think I'm going to win that way. I'll, I'll just tell you from my experience since 1989 in this industry, um, Obviously not products as, as you know, anywhere come, coming close to VNI, but in terms of the distribution direct to consumer relational marketing business model, I've never seen a Lone Ranger win. We, 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 we you know, there, there's, there's power in community. There's synergy in connectedness. And that's what, that's part of what this event's all about. And the, the Thursday, Saturday events and some of the, the, the monthly product call and, and some of the things that we do within our, our monthly schedule. It's designed for you and your team to plug in. Now there's some depth to this. We're not going to get into all of it, but part of it is it takes the pressure off you being trying to be everything to all your people. You know, that's what I call a sponsor dependent organization where you are the source of all knowledge for your team, whether you have three, three representatives on your team or 300 or 3000, none of us is as good as all of us. And if you, if you build your business where you're kind of, you're, every, you're the lightning rod for every question. You're the lightning rod for support, for teaching, for training, for inspiration, for motivation. It doesn't work. Lone Rangers don't win in this business. And so you want to stay plugged in. Stay plugged in for, for duplication and, and inspiration for your team. Stay plugged in for inspiration and motivation and growth for yourself. It's just, you know, it's, let's face it, folks, we're, it's a, it's a tough world. I mean, I get out, I get out to Charlotte, North Carolina traffic and I have to say the serenity prayer probably every day. I get frustrated. I mean, it's, it's, uh, you know, we, we're stressed. We have, we all have life responsibilities and priorities and family commitments and everything. And we need to plug in systematically consistently to get nourished, to get fed, just like we get nourished and fed with the products we need to plug into these, these Zoom events. We need to plug into the conference calls and get nourished and fed mentally and emotionally. So stay plugged in. Um, you need it. Your team needs it. It's one of the keys to success. It really is. Number two, do something positive, positive every single day to build and grow your V&I business. Do something positive. It might be like, like uh, Mr. Dave Stolzfus uh, told us last week. You know, he hands these out every day. He has an Enzorb sample. I think he does two of them and he staples them inside of this marketing tool that goes over all of our products. And, uh, and he hands those out. You know, he invites people to take a look and, and try the products. He invites people you know, do something positive every day. It might be inviting somebody to learn about victory nutrition. It might be, um, a follow-up. It might be a three-way call with someone that's actively looking at the products or the business and you get one of your upline success coaches to help you with that conversation. It might be plugging into this Zoom event. You know, that's, that's a perfect example. Do something positive every day. And here's why. Consistency creates momentum. 
I want you to write that down. Consistency creates momentum with your business. If you do something positive every day, it creates a compounding effect. If you're brand new, you might not get it. Just take it on faith right now. You know, just because if I don't believe gravity works, I go to, up to my roof and jump off. Gravity is going to work whether I believe it or not. This principle, not quite as profound as gravity, but pretty close. It, it really is. Consistency creates momentum. You might not see it. You might not feel it. But if you'll do something positive every day, teach and train your organization to do the same thing, you'll be amazed at what happened because it happens over time. Consistency creates momentum. And momentum in, in terms of growing your business is sustained through consistency. Two powerful principles. Stay plugged in. Do something positive every day. Now, if you're brand new or if you've hit the reset button, it's real important to understand this business, there's a learning curve. And like anything in life, the, the more we do something, and especially if we do it correctly, the better we're going to get at it. Okay? So, success in this business and I hope you'll write this down. I got a couple little phrases that'll really give you, this is what we're talking about now is mindset as we, as we get into some of the meat and potatoes of the business, mindset, and it's so important. The biggest challenge in this business over time as, as, as you reach and strive and work towards your personal goals with Victory Nutrition, one of the biggest challenges for all of us is managing what's between our ears. It really is, it's mindset. It's staying consistent with the right, productive, positive mindset. Now, well, I'm not going to expound on that right now, but as it's, I'm not talking about, you know, we want, we want to be real. We want to be, we want to be objective and honest in terms of where we are and where we want to go. But it, then as we focus on where we want to go, we want to have the right mindset. And so success with your VNI business is doing the correct things, which is why we're together today, doing the correct things correctly long enough. Okay. I want you to write that down. Success with your Victory Nutrition business is about doing the correct things correctly long enough. That's the formula. And if you take any of those three pieces out, you're not going to have the results you're capable of. Think about this. If you do the incorrect things correctly long enough, you're not going to have the results. If you do the correct things correctly for the next three weeks, that's not long enough. You're not going to have the right results. It takes each of those three pieces of the success formula for you to achieve what you're, what you're capable of achieving for yourself and your family. So success is doing the correct things, which that's why we're together today. And we're going to talk about some of those correct things. Success is about doing the correct things correctly long enough. Can't forget the long enough. Can't forget the long enough. What's that old saying? Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, we've, you know, your V&I business, depending on the size of your goals, your vision is not going to be built in a day. Okay. So success is doing the correct things correctly long enough. Now the learning curve in this business, I want you to understand you're going to, the more you do it, the better you're going to get. And I want you to be patient with yourself. Now I want everyone, I'm, 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 I'm looking in your eyes, uh, as best I can. I'm looking in your eyes. I want you to hear us on this. Be patient with yourself. Believe in yourself. Right now, you might not believe this is possible. But over time, you're gonna, we're gonna, we're, it's not just going to be me talking. It's not just going to be Dwight talking. We're going to have various leaders and emerging leaders like we featured Mr. Ken Nasmitz last week on the, on the call, on our, our September kickoff call. I hope you heard that. If you haven't, listen to the replay. But it's about relatability. We're going to have, you know, you've, you've heard from Gina Bender. We're going to have some other featured leaders, you know, that are, that are going to be delivering content to, 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 to teach and train. And it's about relatability. If, if, if he can do it, I can do it. If she can do it, I can do it. And what we want you to know is we want to encourage you from experience, not from a, a place of hype. We want to encourage you to understand and believe that you can do this. And we're going to help you every step of the way. And, and you, need, you, need, you really need to, you need to embrace that. You need to believe that. And right now, at the very beginning, if you're brand new or if you're hitting that refresh button, that reset button, then maybe you don't believe it, but just, just open your mind up to the fact that it's possible. It's possible. And, 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 and be kind to yourself. I always tell people urgency is good. You want to work with urgency. You want to, even if your goals are part-time, you want to work with some pace. 
You know, too many times people procrastinate and procrastinate and procrastinate and all of a sudden a month goes by and two months goes by and they haven't done anything productive. That's why we talk about stay plugged in and do something positive every day, that consistency that creates momentum. But at the same time, give yourself a break. Enjoy the journey. Have fun. You'll learn to have fun with getting out of your comfort zone. You know, the worst thing that can happen is you invite somebody to take a look at VNI and the timing's not right and they're not willing to look at it. Um, it you know, if you're in person, a lot of times I will just, I, I, will, I will say here, I've done it this week twice where I, I'll, I'll sit down with somebody, have a coffee meeting, I'll take a ProDivite moment, I'll shake it up, I'll open it up, hand it to them. And, and preferably what I'm going to get is I'm going to get a small cooler because I love them when they're cold and just a little small, little soft shell cooler that when I have a little coffee meeting or meeting in a hotel lobby or something. And I just say, here, taste this. And I invite them to taste it. And they, what is it? Well, just, just taste it. And I'm going to invite them to taste it. And they're going to taste it. I'm going to say, now hold that in your mouth 30 seconds and then swallow. And then they say, what was that? That was the most complete liquid nutrition program in the market. I mean, we're talking science-based I mean, it's simple, convenient, complete. That one ounce, you just gave your, foundationally, your body, you just nourished your body at a cellular level. So it can be very simple. Sometimes we make things a lot more difficult, but here's the point that I want to really make when I say give yourself a break or, or be nice to yourself. And I want you to write this down, please. It's about progress, not perfection. It's about progress, not perfection. It's about getting a little better today than, than yesterday, a little bit better tomorrow than today. A little bit better this week than last week. And that progress, that incremental progress, taking the pressure off, not trying to be perfect today. Sometimes you're not going to say the right things. I don't say the right things. Sometimes I talk too much when I wish I'd ask questions. We're all going to learn and grow and improve. And that's what this is about, learning, growing, and, and improving as a community. But giving ourselves a break to recognize where it's about progress. None of us are going to be perfect ever, not this side of heaven. So. Progress, not perfection. Now, a couple more things real quick on mindset. The learning curve in this business, I want you to write these down because some of these concepts as we get into some of the meat and potatoes, not just today, but in the future, are going to give you, they're going to give you context. The concepts will give you context as you grow your business. The way this business works in terms of learning curve is learn, you're going to learn the basics if you're brand new, apply, you're going to take action, you're going to, you know, knowledge is not power knowledge is potential power it becomes power when we take action when we you know applied knowledge that's power so it's about learning the basics the fundamentals it's about applying those fundamentals into your business taking action and then teaching others to do the same thing learn apply and teach and at the simplest form i want you all to remember this because sometimes as we start to go through this learning curve all of us make things a little more complicated than they need to be but here's the key. At the end of the day, what do we do to build and grow a business? We use the products. And I encourage you, if you're only taking ProDivite, if you can, you know, ramp up to, you know, the ProDivite brain reward and or the Ensorb. And if the, if the issue is budget, I understand that. Let's ramp your business up so that your commissions and bonuses more than offset the product. But we've got to be a product of these products. And the more you learn about these products, the more you experience these products, the more that you see the results people are having on the products, it becomes a mission. It becomes a mission. I was ta talking to Mr. Dwight Halstead this morning before our, before our event. And, and, you know, we were talking, what, one of the things, uh, of the many things that makes VNI different from the rest of the industry in, in wellness and in direct sales or, or network marketing, what I call relational marketing. One, one of the many things that makes us different, the product makes us different. The fact that we're real, we don't hype people. We're going to always under promise and over deliver as, as a community and as a company, as a brand. But one of the things is the culture of our, of our distributors, our, our representatives, our organization that are taking these products to market. The culture, we, we are mission driven. You know, we're mission driven. Assisting people in becoming beacons of health, hope, and abundance. That's what, that's, what we're, that's what we're all about. That's what we're doing. We're mission-driven. And so when it comes to building our team, building your team, we're looking for missionaries, not mercenaries. I want you to write that down. 
we're looking for, it's nothing wrong with making money. We want to make money. I want to help you and the leadership team, the company. We want to support you to reach your income goals because money, when it's, love of money is the problem, but money is a tool. And when we use money to bless our family and our friends and our church and charities and philanthropic causes that we support, that's, that's stewardship. And that's what we're all about as a company. So we're looking for missionaries, not mercenaries. And at the end of the day, what we do is use these products and we share them with others. Use and share. And we teach others to use and share. And, and if you'll keep that mindset as you, as you get into some of the learning curve with leadership and some of the organizational development uh, 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 principles that we're going to teach you, not just today, but in the future, don't, don't, don't get too far away from keeping it simple. At the end of the day, we want to use and share. And if you're not sharing, if we're not sharing, we're not growing. So I want to I I ask you a question with that. How many new people? Rhetorical question, but we, we're, 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 you know, this is, we're, we're always going to do real together. Um, how many, I want you to draw a box on your notes. I'm going to lead by example. There, the leadership is always by example. How many new people did you share Victory Nutrition with since last Saturday's training? Put a number in that box, and there's no space for excuses. There's no space for I was sick, no space for – I mean, if you took the week off, that's great. But, but at, write it – whatever the number is, write it down. I'm going to have a sip of water while you do that. <clears throat> write that down. How many new people did you share VNI with from a product standpoint and or a business? What's that number? Now – Ask yourself this, don't you, this question is not a club to beat yourself over the head, but it is an accountability question, okay? It's an accountability question. That number, whatever's in your box, maybe you shared with one person, maybe it's a goose egg, zero. Maybe it's 10, 12, 14. Is that number consistent with your goals for your VNI business for the month of September? Think about that. If you say, all right, you know what, I want to I want to go manager, I want to go executive manager, I want to go director in the month of September, but you've only got one in that box, that's probably not consistent with the type of activity that you need to have to grow that business and to go to that next level. Teach and train, everything that we learn, apply, teach, everything that we're teaching you, we want you to apply that knowledge, we want you, we want you to teach your team, pay it forward. Some of these things, they sound simple, but they're powerful, they're powerful principles. Gravity is simple. You know, what comes up must come down, or what, dry, what, what comes off the roof must come down. So gravity is simple. doesn't make it any more powerful. So, so think about that. What's that number in your box? And then here's the most important question. Put another box to the right. How many new people are you going to share in the next seven days? Because, folks, that's where the, if we keep our business a secret, if we keep our products a secret, if we're not inviting people to learn about VNI, if we're not sharing the products and sharing the business, we're not going to grow. It's not, it's, it's not a lottery. This is, there's no secrets here. Anytime somebody says, look, my business isn't growing, when I get down to this question, I'll say draw a box, and I'll just repeat that exercise. And I do it with love, but, but tough love. You've got to be honest. Anytime somebody's head faking themselves, thinking that, you know, confusing productivity with, act, with activity. You know, somebody sits down and writes, a, you know, takes an hour writing an email. Is that the best use of time? Somebody, you know, somebody's making phone calls into Europe. We're not even in Europe. You know, pick up the phone, call your neighbor, share the product, you know, share V&I with your neighbor on your left, your neighbor on your right, your neighbor across the street, your best friend from high school or college. You know, don't, a, lot of, a lot of people confuse tension-relieving activity with goal-achieving productivity. And what you and I want to do at the end of the day, we want to put the right number in that box based on our goals. And you can do it, but don't kid yourself. Don't allow your brain to joke. You know, don't, don't organize your desk and, and for an hour and a half and write, you know, and, 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 and then say, okay, well, I've been working on my V&I business. No, at the end of the day, how many new people have you shared V&I with today, this week, this month? And then build on that. Most importantly, for each one of us, I want you to draw that box down. I want you to share it with your upline success coach after today's event. 
I want you to call them or text them and give them the number for this upcoming week. How many new people are you going to share VNI with this upcoming week? Okay, a couple things real quick, and I'm going to transition to Mr. Dwight Halstead. So, ingredients to success. Okay, there's a recipe for success. That's a lot of what we're talking about. I hope you'll go back through and listen to this recording at some point. Take notes. Make sure you teach and train your team some of this information as well. Learn, apply, teach. But think about this. Any recipe for success, you got to have the right ingredients for that recipe and for, the, 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 for everything to come together correctly. If you don't have the right ingredients, uh, it's not, it's, you're not going to have a winning formula. Okay. There are five key ingredients from my experience, which is now 29 years in the industry, five key ingredients to success. These are things that you and I need to bring to the table in order for you to reach your potential and for me to reach my potential if I were in the field. Okay. And which I have been a lot of my career. So that's the reason I'm able that's the reason I'm on this call with our, with our leadership. I'm not always going to be on the call, <clears throat> but I do enjoy it. This is the mentoring, teaching, training, helping new people get off to a profitable start, accelerating through that learning curve. That's, that's, that, that inspires me. I enjoy that. Okay, five ingredients to success. Number one, desire. You got to have a desire to get from point A, where you are right now, to point B. And you really can't teach desire. You know, that's the thing. So you and I, when we're looking for those missionaries, not mercenaries, missionaries to spread the VNI mission of wellness, to, to spread the, 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 the vision of being beacons of health, hope, and abundance. We want, we, we want missionaries that have a desire for some positive change in their life. They want to feel better physically. They want to do better financially. They want to mentor and coach people to help them create wellness, both, both physically and financially. That's what, that's what we're looking for. Missionaries, not mercenaries. We're not looking for people that want to make a quick buck or that are, that, that's, you know, we want mission driven people, but they've got to have that desire for change. It doesn't have to be big change, baby steps, but you got to have that desire, desire to get from point A to point B. Each one of us, we need to bring that to the table in order to be positioned for success. So that's one ingredient. Second ingredient is persistence. Folks, there's a learning curve in this business, just like anything in life. The only way to fail is to quit. You got to press on. You got to keep focused on the prize. You got to keep your eyes focused straight ahead on the goal. Um, pay attention to what you're focusing on. In my experience, I've learned over the years that successful people focus on what they want to have happen and how to make it happen. They're focusing on their objective. They're focusing on manager this month, September. They're focusing on executive manager. They're focusing on director. They're focusing on helping three of their key people go manager this month. Successful people with VNI, our successful members of our team, are focused on what they want to have happen and how to make it happen. Unsuccessful people focus on what they don't want to have happen and who's to blame. Okay? So that's mindset. Again, that's why we're spending so much time on some of these key fundamentals. So recognize persistence is an ingredient to success. The only way to fail is to quit. Don't let the naysayers, don't let the dream stealers, don't let people that aren't willing to get out of their comfort zone and, 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 and stretch talk you out of your dreams. Okay, it takes persistence. You're going to have good days. You're going to have challenging days. You're going to have things that go great and things that don't go so well. Just like all of us, that's life. So the only way to fail is to quit. So first ingredient is desire. Desire to get from point A where you are right now to point B. Second ingredient to success, the success formula with Victory Nutrition, is persistence. The only way to fail is to quit. Stay with it. Stay plugged in. Do something positive every day, okay? It's all connected. The third ingredient to success is be coachable. Don't reinvent the wheel. Folks, this is a vehicle. This is a business vehicle. And, you know, any like a vehicle. If I, if I wanted to go down to uh, – uh, Dwight and Kathy Halstead in, in sunny Florida. There's a lot of ways I could do it. I could, I could, I could walk. Think about this. I could walk. I could, uh, I could choose a, a vehicle like a skateboard. I could technically, fundamentally, conceptually, I could get to Florida. I could get Dwight to Dwight and Kathy Halstead's home with a skateboard. I could go a uni unicycle if I first. I got to learn how to ride one and not face plan. I could ride a bicycle. I could drive a car, I could drive a sports car, or I could fly. 
Okay. I could fly a, a turbo prop or I could fly a jet. So there's lots of ways I could choose, you know, the vehicle that gets me from, from where I am point A to where I want to go point B down in, in sunny Florida with Dwight and Kathy, the, 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 the vehicle is going to determine how fast and how far and how long it takes me. Well, V and I is a vehicle and you can treat it like a skateboard and that's okay. It's not a negative or you can treat it like a jet. What we want you to do is be coachable and understand that you don't have to be on a skateboard if, if you don't want to. We can help you be on a jet, even part-time, because we know what works, we know what doesn't work. We've invented the wheel. We're going to teach you how to roll the wheel. Okay, so be coachable. Don't, don't you know, learn from those who've gone before you. Uh, Dwight Halstead, who's going to, I'm going to be introducing in just a couple of minutes, is breaking new pen levels every single month with his team. We're going to be introducing you in the next week or so to one of, other, one of his top leaders, emerging leaders, that, that we're going to be learning from, all of us as a community. And folks, this is not by accident. This is paint by the numbers. We know what works. We know what doesn't work. And we're going to teach you that. But you got to be coachable. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Number four, commitment. It takes commitment. You know, a mentor of mine used to say, commitment is what is left after the emotion of the moment has passed. You know, when you first get excited about Victory Nutrition, you're taking the products, you're feeling the impact of the products, you're ready to build the business, you get a couple disappointments, somebody quits, somebody says no that you really wanted to lock arms with and build a business, and you get disappointed. Commitment is what is left after the emotion of the moment has passed. That's the fourth ingredient. Fifth and finally, have fun. And I don't mean that to be like kind of flip it, have fun with this. Enjoy the journey. And that's mindset too. Enjoy the journey. Five ingredients to success. Each one of us needs to bring these for our, our success formula, our recipe of success with your V&I business. Okay. Have desire. Bring that to the table every day. Be persistent. Be coachable. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Recognize it takes commitment. Bring that commitment. The bigger the goal, the bigger the vision, the bigger the commitment. Remember that square with the number of people you shared V&I with last week. Remind yourself of commitment. Commitment is what is left after the emotion of the moment has passed. So make sure when you look at that block for this upcoming week, how many new people you're going to share V&I with personally between now and next Saturday's training. Make sure that number is worthy of you and your goal. Make sure it's worthy of your vision. And then back that vision up with action. Okay, so that's the ingredient to say, and then have fun, <clears throat> enjoy the process, and recognize you. We have to lead by example. At the end of the day, folks, well done is better than well said. If you want to be a leader, with which you are, or you wouldn't be on this uh, Zoom event. Um, if you're going to help take VNI to the four corners of United States and Canada, and then soon around the world over the next five years and beyond, then recognize you got to walk your talk. Well done is better than well said. You want to lead by example. You want to do what you want your team to do. And they're going to model your example. If you want them to plug into events, you plug into events. If you want them to sponsor new, new customers and representatives, you sponsor new customers and representatives. If you want them to rank advance, you rank advance. That's the key, folks. That lead with integrity, and that means set the pace for your team and, and, and recognize it's a team sport. It's not, it's not just you, but you're leading by example. And as we all take that ownership of our own activity, our own responsibility, if it is to me, if it is to be, it's up to me. I'm taking responsibility for my business and I'm leading by example. If you accept that mindset and demonstrate that mindset over the next seven days, you watch what happens to your business. You watch what happens to your business in the month of September. That's going to be awesome. So with that, folks, it is my privilege to introduce uh, our featured leader for the rest of the event Mr. Dwight Halstead from sunny Florida. Take it away, sir. Hello, Jeff. All right, everybody. Is that, am I clear right now? You, you are clear as a bell, Dwight. Okay, great. Well, I want to uh, thank uh, – we got a good turnout, and I hope everybody was taking notes. And, you know, this meeting is, is, is truly organic in nature. I, I'm actually going to change my thought process a little bit on what I originally was going to talk about in order to kind of blend in with what Jeff had to say. All right. Is it, Jeff, is the screen up there? Yep. Clear as a bell, Dwight. You're all the good. Truth, is that the one? The truth is, look, as, as Jeff was talking, it brought up this little uh, thing I, I thought was so true. The truth is, most of us discover where we're headed when we arrive. 
uh, we get a lot of people, especially in this industry, they, they, they get excited, they see what's going on, they jump off that cliff, and then they don't know where they're headed. They're just hitting one obstacle after another after another, and then, you know, then they get stranded and get stuck in some place instead of having that path that, that directs them. I think this is so, so true. It, it's knowing where you're going. So a couple of things here, and i like to add on to what Jeff had to say, is in order to lead, you got to know where you're going. And in that process, these are, are, are a few things that, that, I, that I put down that I think is important. And I think everybody should put down and grab their notebook, you know, put it down in writing. I mean, I, I did, I've been taking notes here. I put my number of how many people that I talked to this week. And I'm not even going to tell people that because it's well over 50. But the, you, you need to know where you're headed in order to get there. So and there's a few key things. And I, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get back to the basics because – you know, it, it's, like, it's, it's like in a team sport, you know, like in football, for instance, when a football team is losing, it's on this losing streak, you know, the coach gets back, and, what do they do? They always, go back to, they always go back to the basics. Gentlemen, this is a football. Because when you get back to the basics, that's, that's how you, you, you start learning and, and can move forward. And sometimes we tend to make this more complicated than what we need to. Uh, all too often, I'll, I'll have people in my group and, and people that I've been talking to this last week, and they're getting off and all this little minutia stuff and, and writing huge letters and trying to figure things out than doing the basic. And the basic is, is having a plan, following a plan, and making contacts. So here's some key things. Write these things down. Number one is you should be a product of the product. You should be doing the products on a regular basis. I mean, like Jeff shows what he's doing. You know, I've got my protobite here. I've got my Enzorb here. And I've got my brain reward right down here. You know, I am on the products and using them on a daily basis. You should be doing the same. Keep track of any special things, that any benefits that you've received from these products. You should have your own story about how the products are benefiting you. The next thing is, is you know your why. Why are you in this business? Sit down and put it, what are you looking to get out of this? And it's not always about the money. What it is, a lot of times it's about, it, it, it is about what, you're trying to accomplish. You know, you're, you're trying to have that extra income, maybe to get that car payment paid off, maybe to get some breathing room, maybe to go on that vacation. Understand, the one thing that VNI makes us unique compared to anybody else that's out there, and I've had some talks with some of my reps, and here's the thing. VNI is so different in so many different ways, and we'll get into this a little as, as we get more into it, but this is a culture that we are here, we're not going to, you know, we're not here to make everybody millionaires. What we're here is to give people the benefits of the product and the benefits of being able to generate some income that not only covers the cost of the products, but can start giving them some, some benefits and, some, and, and extras in their life. And this is what it's all about knowing your why. Why are you coming in here? I mean, anybody knows my why for coming in here is I got my eyes focused on a $45,000 motorhome. And, you know, I'm looking at, I don't want to tap into my resources. My other why here is I love working with individuals. So know what your why is and sit down and have that in writing. And once you know your why, that's how you go ahead and you set your goals. Write down what your goals are. Take your high goal, your medium goal, and your monthly goal. Break it down. What do you, where do you want to be five years from now? Where do you want to be one year from now? Where do you want to be a month from now? Where do you want to be tomorrow? And this kind of relates back to what Jeff says is, what are you doing on a daily basis to get to that goal? See, if you, if you know what your major goal is, if, if I want to make an extra eighteen or an extra $12,000 a year, that means I got to make $1,000 a month. That means I got to make two fifty dollars a week. And that, that means that I've got to, you know, I have to bring in, what is it, seven, you know, times two, I got to, I got to bring in an extra 200 or so, you know, on, on, a, on a daily basis. Yeah, I've got to be able to contact people. So, you know, Set that goal up. Once you know what your goals are, and let's say as you lay out your plan, like I know for what I'm doing, I need to be able to reach out on a daily basis and contact at least 15 people a day. And I have a plan in action right now where every day I sit down and I take my hour of activity and I'm out there reaching to 15 people on a daily basis. Now, as I'm working my plan, this is the key thing. As you go through those first four steps, take action. See, I, invariably, and, and I've been working with some of my people, 
and they've got their goals and they've got their plans and I said, okay, what did you do today to move forward? And how many people did you talk to? Oh, nobody, but tomorrow I'm gonna do this. Okay, call them tomorrow. What did you do today? Well, you know, so this came up, this came up, life came up, I did this. That's why it's important to have that plan because this is a simple business. And if you, I promise you guys one thing, if you sit down and, and legitimately put one hour a day into action that's making contact, that's building your business, and action is not reading, action is not watching the video, those are things you can do to help your mindset. Action is what have you done today to invite somebody to take a look at the business? And that's the action. And your goal and your plan is, all, is how you take your action. And one of the things that we really want to stress, and I've been stressing to my team, the action is real simple. We share the products. We share the information. And then we bring them to the next event, which is our Thursday call. And that's where you, if you have the mindset that you're going to be talking to five people a day, you're going to be sharing some information, maybe put some product in their hands, and then invite them to the call, you, we don't need to be an expert. You just need to take action. And as you start taking action, what you're going to learn is you're going to find out what's working and what's not working. But it all, it all starts, if you don't pick up the phone or go out, into the neighborhood or talk to that person next to you, if you don't start doing that on a consistent basis, then you're missing the boat. It's all about taking action and it's simple. Because as, as I go back in, when we take a look at why we want to do what we do, it's not that complicated. Because all we need to do initially, for those of you just getting started, your initial action is to find your first three people and bring them in in order to build. And you know, you know where you're going. Now, obviously, you need to know what tools you're going to use. You need to know the type of people you're looking for. Who are you looking for to bring into this business? It's not just somebody who's breathing, but we're, we're, in this, we're in this industry in order to help people raise their awareness to health, to raise their awareness of how they can take control of their lives and their health by having the right nutrients in front of them. And one of the things being in this industry, especially being with V&I, is the fact that we can share a product that is foundational to good health. And what happens is that when the mind opens up, when we share that, we are making some major changes. I've been very fortunate in this industry to see some amazing things happen with people that may not have happened. I've seen lives change. I've seen improvements made, and that's what we have here. And then, and then you know, look, as you enroll in people, find out what the common denominator is that brought them into the business. Because as you begin to understand, as your knowledge expands on a day-to-day -day basis, as you are learning why people are coming in, you're learning what their process and what their motivation is, then you're going to be able to share even more. And don't focus on the dollars. Be part of the service. It's, you know, this is the missionary focus on things. Is focus on providing the people information. And you do not, I am not an expert on, on Protovite. I'm not an expert on Enzorb or nutrition or anything else. What I am an expert is, is I know where to take people in, in order to give them the information that they need in order to take them. So, so you know, have, and again, this gets back to tools. I'm going to share with you a little bit on that. Last but not least, this is a business. If you want to come in and this is a social event, you're on the product, you know, that's great. We'd love you. But if you want to take and, and turn this into a business, whatever level you want to go at, whatever level you want to hit, you know, sit down and, and focus in on that. What do you need to do to get to the manager? What do you need to do to get to the executive manager? Where do you need to do to get to the director? What is it that's going to take you there? How are you going to get there? And, and then take that, that time and, and set aside and be disciplined enough to set aside one hour a day. 10 hours, you know, 10 hours a week. Take a look and, 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 and make that happen. So, you know, fill those goals in and, and take it along that line. Now, look at, get back to the basics. Here's the basics. There's six ways that we, we get started. We all come in initially, you know, we, we come and we become members. As we become a member and we start learning about this, we, we learn how to become a rep. 
as we get a rep, we, we get our three people in. Remember, three people. See, the number one, the big goal is, is they have hundreds of people in your organization, but the, the initial upfront day-to-day -day goal, especially for those who are just getting started, is to find those three people. Find the three people that you can help, help their health, and help and start sharing with them how they can start building a business. Because here's what happens, and this is the beauty of our system, is that when you help your three people come in and get this same message, to get to these trainings, come to the Thursday calls, come to the Monday's calls, the, the, the corporation calls that we have for both the business aspect and for the product. Getting people plugged in, like Jeff said, then they will be able to share with their three people then look what happens here. It's just, it becomes real simple. The next three, and everything about our business, it's all about helping three get three get three. Now, those that are driven are gonna do even more. But as you can see here, the rank advancement starts taking place. So look at this. When, when you take a look at the comp plan, and this comp plan is very dynamic in many ways, and I had this conversation with Jeff today and a few of the other leaders in the group, the one thing that people miss on this comp plan, the one thing that, I, you know, I've had other people in this industry look at this and I go, man, this comp plan, I've seen better. Yeah, we've got huge bonuses over here and, and I get three. But what they miss on this is that most companies' comp plans are laid out in such a way that it, it, it kind of helps you in the beginning, but it leaves you hanging in the middle and then it only really benefits those that are at the very top, the two or three percent that are up there. And it misses that middle section. And, you know, any company or any nation is all based on the, on the, on the strength of the middle class. The more people you have that have success in that middle range, that, that, are, that have that extra 1000 or 1500 2000 a month coming in on a steady basis. That is what creates a solid and long-term business, both for the national company and both for your own company. So look at this. Get back here and take a look at, at how this plan is laid out. And it, it's brilliant to a fault from the standpoint that it, it, it allows people to start generating income and helps cover that, that helps pad that middle so you can have income coming in until you start getting up into the rank to where you have volume coming in to where you can start start growing. And this is what, and, you know, get this in and, and believe this to heart and soul. When you come in, your eye, first thing is to find your three members. When you do that, that puts you in as a rep. But look what it takes to become a manager. When you help get your three, get their three. And remember, this is all based on two product orders. That's it. Not, nothing else. If you bring people in and they get their two products for their health and benefit and you share with them and they move out and you share with them along that line, those three get their three. Look what happens. You become a manager. Now, you help those, you work with those three and the next thing you know, you're up to executive manager because you now have elevated up. Again, it's three or getting three. And look what happens with this. You know, first off, you're getting the fast start bonus, but you're also at this point when you get to this level, you as once you become a manager, you plug yourself into the $250 rank advanceable bonus. Maintain that rank for three months and you got a $250 bonus check. It's also on the first month you hit this, Whatever your dollar volume is in your unilevel is, is matched again. So let's just say in, in the, your first unilevel here, the check's not going to be much. You know, it's going to be maybe $100. But you hit that manager level, it gets doubled to $200. But now you move up to the executive manager. You're three, you get three. Now you've moved up to a $500 bonus. And you've helped those three. Also, again, you, as you can see, your organization is starting to build down here. You, you're going levels down. That unit level comes up. Guess what? When you hit that manager's level, you've also got a matching bonus for that month. So let's say that on, at the manager's level, let's say your executive manager now maybe at 100, 150. Now they doubled it. That's 300. And then 90 days later, you get the other 500. 
Now, as you work that group, the next step is, is to move up to the directorship. Now, on the director, what happens here is you now have earned the 750, but again, this is three who are getting three who are getting three and sharing. And what are they doing? They're sharing information, they're sharing product, and they're bringing them to the calls. They're, this is a business that's all about the next event. It's all about getting people and yourself to the next event. It's all about getting the belief in the system of what we're doing and bringing people to the next event. It's like, like Jeff was saying, we're not the Lone Rangers out here. It's not just you. One of the, the things that I've seen in our group, and sometimes I, we bring people in, and I call them and say, look, I'm available. Pick up the phone, call me. I'm one of the easiest guys to get a hold of. And if, if you don't get a hold of me, I will give you a call back. But it's all about reaching up, reaching up. You know, I have no qualms about reaching up to Michael. I have no qualms about reaching up to Jeff. Is, is, it, is it a team? This event right here would not have happened if it wasn't for the team effort of putting things together. It wasn't, you know, you take Gene and Ed, Ed Bender. You know, you, they are part of this. They are part of that brought this together. It, you know, I can't even begin to, to tell how important those individuals have in my growth. You know, I, I've, I've, we've, we've seen growth in my ranks. We've seen people come from, go from manager to executive manager, and now we're at director. And I've seen a lot of people in my group focus in down because that's where I'm focused in at. But see, it's the three who get three who get three. And something really takes, takes hold here. When you build this organization and you build it deep and you start sharing and you start growing, what happens here? is these numbers start to grow. And all of a sudden, you're, you, know, you start out with your lonely one. Like, in, in, and I'll tell you, in my case right now, in, my, in the sixth month, you know, in the sixth cycle, and right on track here, started out with just a few in my very first month and added. And then we had this huge growth right up to here. We, we just jumped this, you know, we, you know, we just jumped like crazy in, in the group and went, went to that 81. All of a sudden, but I saw a lot of people down below me winning. I saw a lot of people advancing. We had people who were shocked when they got their $250 check. We had some people that were shocked when they got their $250 and $500 check. There were some people that got a $750 check and didn't even realize they were there. Because all of a sudden this thing, because they were just focused on their business. They were just focused on sharing product. And all of a sudden the money came in. So they weren't focused on the money. The money just came about. But as you can see, as the team starts to grow, as it starts building up, and then you're up to 200. I, I'm well over 200, and I think we're up to 230 right now in my group. And so the next progression is, is those three get three. Look what happens. And now I'm seeing the volume. And, I'm you know, just a few of the uh, – yeah, you know, it's just a matter of time before I hit that executive director. But, see, there's you, Bob, Ted, Jane. They're growing. It's all building up. It's all moving in this direction. So, and how does it start? Very simply, it all starts. You sit down. You lay out your plan. You make your phone calls. You do things that are helping your business. You become part of the business. Now, a couple of things I want to share, and I'm – is tools. And we have all the tools that we need. YVNI.com. You know, I have a group. I have plans. I know my Canadian group has a, has a system laid out in place, and, and they have. And it's all about the tools and knowing how to use them and how to reach out. I want to share something that's so simple and so easy that I think some people miss it because I get calls. I've gotten calls, two or three calls this week. People say, what do I share? Or I want to tell somebody about ProDivide. Here's how you do it. You go back to the YVNI. You can send them to YVNI, but here's what I recommend. You go back to YVNI, and you don't need to be a rocket scientist or a computer expert. Come back here, and let's say I want to send somebody to the ProDivide. I want to give them information about ProDivide. There's two ways you can do this. You can send me here and tell them to go there, but here's what I recommend. Go ahead and click on the video. And as that video comes up, if you do a right click, you can copy the URL, put that up into your bar, or send in that URL, and that will take them right to that video. Or if you want to be, 
even easier. You see where, as you bring it down here, it says YouTube? Click on the YouTube and go grab the YouTube link. Now, here's what you do with this. Hi, my name is Bill Downs, and I'm is, the CEO and founder of... You reach out to somebody. International. Uh, I mean, purpose out of here. for us being here today. Okay. So you reach out to somebody, and you give them this information. So you, you share with somebody. You write an email. You, you write the email, and you, 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 call, you call your friend up, you share with them, say, look, I want to share some information. There's a nutritional product out here that I'm on that I'm benefiting from, and I've seen some amazing results out here, but it's foundational, and it's ex exceptional because this product has gone through studies and shows it's 100% effective. Take a look at it. Tell me what you think. I'll call you back tomorrow. I'm going to send you over the link. You look at it, and let's talk about it that tomorrow. I want to get your opinion. And send them this link. So, if let's say you have somebody who is, um, you know, not focusing, or has issues that you know are, you know, that, that has issues, you know, with, with with children with ADD or whatever, you know, send them. Go back. I'm going to send them the brain reward information. What 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 makes the brain reward so much different? Look at that. Right click, copy it, YouTube down. That's all you need to do. Now, here's the next step. Very simple. When you send somebody this video and have them share with it, tell them you're going to call them back. Call them back. Ask them about and write this down. Write this down. Ask them what they like about what they saw and heard. Don't ask, never ask anybody what they think. What did you like about what you saw? What do you like about what you heard? and listen to that, that's going to be your clue because what you want to do is that as soon as they said, well, this is amazing. I like the way it, it absorbed. I, I, the blood analysis, that was amazing how the blood cells got better. And, and then the next question is ask them, great, would you like to learn a little bit more about our company? Would you like to learn a little bit more about who you know, some of the leaders are? More importantly, how would you like to get this product and how would you like to have it to where you can get it for get it for free, but it actually is paying for itself, or even better yet, putting some money in your pocket. Would that be of interest to you? Who's going to turn down a no on that? Then it's great. Here's what we got on Thursday night at nine o'clock. We're having an overview meeting. I want you to come and meet Jeff Hooks and some of the leaders. I want you to see the people that are helping me grow, that are helping me reach my goals, and helping a, a wide variety of people. It's so much different. They've got a simple system. And then invite them to the call and let them work with us. See, it's simple. And we tend to forget and we tend to make things a lot more complicated. But if you get back and you lay out this plan, be a product of the product, know your why. Know why. You know, there are days when I sit down, you know, I've, I've had my cup of coffee in the morning, I come into my office and I sit down and I've got my list in front of me. I go, oh, man, I'm not really up for doing this. But, you know, I got to do it. First off, I got to do it because I tell people that's what I do. The second thing is, is because I'm, I'm holding myself accountable to those individuals. Because when people call me and say, hey, did you call Dwight? Did you call your people today? You know, I got to be honest with them. Did I or didn't I? You know, so I got to make sure I do because I don't want to say, no, I did not. But, so I sit down and I make my phone calls on a daily basis. Just like on a daily basis, I make sure I get on my products. On a daily basis, I have, I know what I'm doing every day, who I'm contacting, and what time slot that I'm doing it in. And I know where I'm headed. I take a look at my team. I know where people need to grow. I, I, I try to find out what I can do to help them take it to the next step. One way to take them to the next step, get them on this call. Get them to listen to this training. I've got my plan, I've taken my action, I know what tools I'm using, I, and that's all part of my plan. And every day, and I've had this conversation with a lot of people on my team, when we're taking action, we're learning. Maybe we, we did something today and it wasn't successful. All right? Then I analyze that a little bit, and, but I don't stop the action, I keep doing it. And what I find, each time I learn something new, I get a little better every day. I get a little better every day. And I know I've had people come to me and say, Dwight, you, you make it sound too easy. And, you know, when you're on the phone, you, you have this gift and everything else. And I said, none of that took, didn't take place without me making literally thousands of contacts on a daily basis 
over the last 30, 40 years. Yeah, some of the stuff just comes natural to me. Absolutely. And I know sometimes you got to get out of your comfort zone. And, but the, the thing is, you take it in small increments. Get out of that comfort zone for 15, 20 minutes a day. And then the next day, make it 40 minutes. The next time, make it an hour. And then make that three or four times a week. And the next thing you know, make that five days a week. And then lay it down towards the 10 to 12 o'clock. But put that plan to action. So my challenge to everybody today is, it's real simple, is sit down, take the non-productive time that's not helping you necessarily build your business, but it's helping you gain the focus and the belief. Sit down and, 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 and get that in writing. Put that down in goals. Then the next step is, Put your plan into action and start on Monday and hold yourself accountable. Find out what your action is. Get with your upline. Get with the person that's working with you. Get with your mentor and tell them what you're going to do that day and when. When you, when you tell somebody you're going to do something, a lot of times we would do things more to please somebody else than the fear of not doing it ourselves. So let that person know who you are working with, your sponsor, or your upline, or your mentor, that what you're going to do, and then get back to with them with the results. Because I, I promise you one thing, if you didn't get the results you want as you reach up, we may be able to help you narrow that down and get better. And here's what would happen. As you do this day in and day out, because this is work, this is networking, as you do this day in and day out, you will get the results you are looking for because you will start to find what works and what doesn't work. But the only way you find that out is by taking action. So I encourage you, sit down, get your plan, reach out to your people, get them on Thursday's call, and have a goal to have five people on the call next Thursday. Have five people, invite five people to get them on that call. Make sure you call them before the call. And what you're going to find, realistically, if two or three are going to show up. But those are the two or three you're looking for. But if you don't invite the five, you're not going to get the two or three or the one or two. So, Jeff, I'm going to go ahead and turn it back over to you, but I hope there was some value in all this. Absolutely, Dwight. That was terrific. If you'll stop your screen share, please, sir. That was absolutely uh, awesome. That was wonderful information. Like you, I took actually uh, one and a half pages of notes on what you shared. And, uh, folks, this is great information. I hope you'll... You'll, 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 number one, I hope you'll go through this information again, um, and you can fast forward on the, on the, on the recording. Um, I hope you'll share it and, and really, you know, the art of promoting to events, the art of, you know, promote to your team the value of going through this information that Dwight has shared today. Um, go through it yourself, teach and train others, and, and I love that call to action that Dwight shared with us on, on you know, literally get five people to the Thursday Zoom presentation at nine o'clock Eastern. That's a wonderful goal. Think about that. Just invite people to learn about VNI, share some information, point them to the Zoom. Invite, share, plug them into the Zoom. Invite, share, point them to the Zoom. And a lot of this is, again, as you do more of it, you're going to take some of these nuggets of wisdom. I love what Dwight shared, how to use, you know, the why VNI videos. Um, you know, as you're living life, as you're talking to people and they say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm stressed or a friend shares with you that they're run down and don't have any energy. You know, you say, listen, it, it, you know, I, I've discovered a, an amazing liquid nutrition product, science based clinicals. I mean, it, 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 would, would you be interested in learning about that? Would you be open to to, to learning about that or or um, somebody says to you that, you know, they're, they're they've got digestive issues or. You know, again, whatever, they're not feeling well, they're feeling sluggish and say, you know what, I've learned about a science-based wellness company that's got some clinically studied products that are amazing. Um, I'll shoot you some information. They, 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 they might help you. Um, people are going to say yes. I mean, they just told you, you know, I always say, make a friend, find a need, transfer the feeling. And so as you're just living life, keep your, your ears open and, and there'll be opportunities to share VNI. Invite, share, plug them into the event. You know, if somebody shares with you that they don't like their job or who they're working with or who they're working for or they got a pay cut or they hadn't had a raise, you know, in, in five years or 10 years. Say, so, you know, say, listen, do you ever explore additional ways to make income? You know, most people are going to say yes. Well, I, I've got a way where you could take a hundred dollar a month investment in your own health and, and turn that 
into one to $2,000 a month part-time residual income? Is that something you'd want to take a look at? You know, or you could turn that into a question. You know, do you, are, you know, Dwight, do you ever explore additional ways to make income? And if I could show you how to take a hundred dollar a month investment in your health and turn that into one to three thousand dollars a month, you know, the numbers I vary with the audience that I'm talking to because obviously, I always again, don't let the small money bore you, don't let the big money intimidate you. It depends on who you're talking to. But if I, you know, Dwight, if I could show you how to make a, you know, a hundred dollar a month investment in your health and, and turn that into one to two thousand dollars a month part time income, would that be of interest? And invite them to the Zooms Thursday night. We do make this more complicated. It's like Dwight said, the more you do it, the better you get. And so, folks, this has been an amazing call. The feedback's tremendous already. You go through this information again, learn, apply, and teach. Learn, apply, and teach. Let's have a big week. But how do we have a big September? Well, we win the day. So let's get out there and share V and I with somebody new today. Let's build on it through the week. And make sure you've got at least a few people. I think five is a great goal. It's very doable to join you as we go through the presentation at Thursday night Zoom presentation. So on behalf of Mr. Dwight Halstead and the entire Victory Nutrition family, I want to wish you a wonderful, wonderful uh, weekend. And let's go out and bless some people with these products and this business. Have a wonderful day and we'll talk soon. God bless. Bye-bye.